morning so that is the literature class here I'm, we are going to begin unit 11 winter oak so please take out your book page number 113 okay so make me sure have you all opened it all right see here we had uh, some characters like anna was liana who was a teacher starting the first lesson of parts of a speech and then after students whose name was who uh, was kid so page one and two we had uh, completed on the last class <clears throat> she had uh, you know she had first lesson that was you know in form five she had just finished college and all that was about uh, uh, the teacher now that day she was she was going to start parts of his speech in, in which she had started the first part of his speech which was now okay after giving explanation she was asking questions to the students and here in the second page students were giving number of uh, naming words like right uh, like cat and table house road these answers were given by many students but she was very surprised when there was an answer which was given by Shubha's kid and the answer was what winter oak winter oak so she was very surprised that why that boy was asking about winter which is an adjective that is yet not started in the class as that was the first part of parts of speech they began but he was talking about winter oak so on that particular answer she was rather surprised and asking that why winter why not only oak as she was only asking for naming words so she told that as you're always being layers in the class, so that is why you're not getting the points and giving me wrong answers. But he has not any fear of that teacher words. And then after he repeated the same words, winter oak. <clears throat> now, in page number 115, we studied that here she told to the boys who was keen to come to the lecture period to meet her. And she also told that she would like to meet her. She would like to meet his mother. And he informed. Okay, she first of first of all she asked that why you are very late always. He as the comparison of other students. So he told in twenty so told in twenty seven paragraph that I never take the highway. I cut to the woods. And said the Swaskin with surprise took as he told to his teacher. Okay, a sense of grief and despair uh, gripped her, and as it always did when children alive. So, uh, his uh, teacher thought, Anna was Liana thought that Shuvaskin was telling a lie, and then after he must be spending his time uh, in playing. So she, re she remained silent, hoping that Shuvaskin would apologize and confess that he spent his time playing. But he only stared at her with large innocent eyes. As the boy was not telling a lie, so he was simply stared at the teacher. The teacher. And then, terrible Swaskin, I have to see your parents about it. Okay, so she just wanted to meet his parents. Feeling slightly embarrassed. Okay. 29. But I only have a mother, Anna was Liana, and she leaves her. She leaves for a walk at three. So skin said, and as he smiled, he smiled and told, told that I have only my mother who works and then left our home at three. Then feeling slightly embarrassed, she thought of Swaskin's mother and she tired nurse to the four little children to raise a demanding job. As she thought that there was no father of her skin, she was very embarrassed that she was only the mother who has to look care of her four little children. So that was the demand of the job so that she could have leave the 
leave the home home at that particular time and then she thought surely his mother had cared enough but anna was yana just to had to see her after that she just wanted to meet the lady well 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 then you will make me home after the lesson today she demanded the boy the after on the path along with sushin to kanna was yana began at the back of the school ground after finishing the school the class he had taken his teacher in the same route where he always going so earlier we had explained in the last class see as soon as they step into the woods and the snow laden for branches close behind their backs they found themselves in an enchanting kingdom of peace and quiet it was all white around all white around somewhere symbolizing winter so it was all white all around the way they were taking fluttering from tree to tree maxi and cows shook the branches knocked at knocked down for uh, four corners and broke and occasional dry brittle twig brittle means that you can see the delicate and easily broken okay okay at not a sound could be heard so the atmosphere which was very peaceful and calm see their path would along the edge of a brook along its bank obediently follow its very swift and turn when they turned they occasionally had the teeth stepped aside opening up sun bathed meadows and crisp cross the hair by attack that logged like watch chain so here writer is talking about the atmosphere which was always taken by Why? So he was somewhere filled with that atmosphere. He enjoyed that atmosphere. That is why he always being late for school. <clears throat> the elk been here. Elk means a large deer with brownish red fur and large antlers, which is found in the forest of northern Asia and northern Europe and northern America. So that is also they found elk also there. So skin said. as if speaking of an old friend when he noticed anna was yana's interest in the track so as well as she was going there she began you know interest in that particular track but don't be afraid he replied to her worried glance elks are docile docile means calm and easy to control so she to he told that not to afraid to the elks Have you ever seen one? Anna, uh, Anna Vesliana asked excitedly. A live one, he answered. No, but I have been his dropping, dropping his tongue. So here they were talking about that creature. Now, slipping under an arc or branches, the pathway once again ran down to the to the stream. In some places, so blankets the stream and elsewhere. the water flowed under the prison of ice so in that uh, atmosphere things are somewhere white with that winter water and the atmosphere which was beautifully decorated by ice okay now anna was leona turned her attention to the stream and gazed in awe why isn't all ice she asked there is a lot of warm springs here see the little jet so was skin said the brook is alive under the snow he brushes away the snow and slate black transparent water come to view she noticed with great fascination that when she saw slid into the stream it thickened at once and floated beneath the water like a jelly like greenish wood she pushed more snow into the water and was delighted when a when a lump of snow took and took on an especially strange shape so carried away by this she did not notice at first that so skin was waiting her ahead she hurried after him actually the scene was somewhere enchanted people so when the teacher came to that scene to that part she was also 
attracted towards it she had forgot that where she had to go and then finally she uh, somewhere managed that he is waiting for her you know for the meeting of his mother now the forest took them farther down to its tangled path gradually the tree began began to thin out and the make a way for the silver sunlight silver of sunlight which which soon grew into the broad shaft broad shaft a beam of light so generally they are just going to cross the wood now the scene is going to pass there in the middle of the glen close in the glittering white raiment majestic as a cathedral stood an oak now finally the out of the uh, forest they find an oak which was some very somewhere decorated with winter see how it is it canopy of leaves and chased in snow and snow flakes linking its turn is strung with glittering like silver thread it seems to anavasnyana that the might guardian of the forest quietly waved a branch to her in greeting so skin meanwhile busily observing the tree which was the home which was home to a number of lodgers beetles lizards and the other insects who were who have their home on that particular tree who sought shelter from the beating cold there the poor creature could not to have found a better home than this mighty tree and that was laden with the life for them in that with the cold so anna wesley anna was gazing in the light at the secret forest teeming with the life that was just now and unknown to her as she was there for many times but that was unknown to her because what generally happened that many people always take the main road the high the highway otherwise that is why it was not known by others okay now she had thought she was skillful teacher why a lifetime was too short to delight in the wonders of the path she had just she had just traveled besides this path was hard was hard to find like the key to magic casket okay casket means a small decorative box but here deep in the uh, deep in these these woods when she felt the same thrill of discovery with the which the children shouted with tractor well big cage in the class room for a way and the past slowly showed itself to her so according to her when the children was taking the example of the thing uh, as a naming word there what now she is now seeing so now she is understanding that what was going on in their mind so what they say they told as an example okay well so skin thanks for all the work it's past 3 and we will have missed your mother today and as you can take this path too if you want to she was also somewhere angry that she was also fascinated towards it so she was ready to uh, say that you can take this path really now she has not any objection because she thought that student you know they discover something by themselves so when he you know taking that road he somewhere discover new new thing that is why winter before teaching the chapter adjective the boy so the boy says what the word winter so that is why she thought that this is the discovery of that boy what he has been observe while coming to school now soskin wanted to promise that he would never come late again but the but that would be a lie he blushes raises raise his collar and pull down his cap i will walk you back It's all that right, so skin. I'll go home alone. He looked doubtfully at his teacher, picked up a uh, picked up a stick, broke off its crook its crooked tie, and gave it to Anna Vasiliana. If you meet an elf, he said, wave this stick so so that you can threaten that elf. Okay, he gave to his teacher a stick, as she found maybe she would she would find found any elf in the woods. but don't strike him or he may take offense and leave you good forever take offense it means 
he will feel upset and may he can harm you okay well very well so seen i shan't eat him having walked off a bit and i was yana turned around to look at the oak again rosy white in the rays of the setting sun and so dark little figure on its porch so skin had been left so once again she turned back and then she saw the oak yes of course it was looking like winter oak completely white with ice okay now she completely understood that what the answer was given by, by the boy was correct okay then and it suddenly dawned on anna vasiana that the most wonderful thing about this wood was its winter oak but the little man was a wonderful citizen of the figure she waved her hand to him and stared off with leisurely peace along the winding path so in this way she also enjoyed the uh that wood and the things what had been destroyed by suvaskin okay for uh, english to syllabus some was asking me about english to syllabus please check out your index part index part see from unit 9 we have started in third term okay from the from unit 9 okay unit 9 what is that dust so dust and then the store clear and after that a poem four little foxes four little that you have to only memorize just memorize this poem then line for exam okay after that now 11 which is winter oak going on and then after last 20 or 12 the canterbury goat canterbury goes and then the last poem which is the fountain okay so prepare summary of this poem a central idea that was the syllabus of english too in which a dusk storm and the four little foxes have been completed winter work is going on question answer i had sent you yesterday i hope in the group we will discuss question answer now for word meaning Okay, for word meaning page of one hundred eleven, one hundred thirteen, please open. Settlement is the first word in single word given in your book page number one hundred thirteen. Settlements, unison. Then after hush, blazing. Are you doing this? okay so settlements unison hush blazing turn page tajinus swabbed rouse outcry tajinus swabbed rouse outcry now turn the page in which here in this page splittering brittle then clover a small a small plant with three rounded leaves 
on each stem that was there in the uj and then l docile dropping animated leaf full of interest and excitement so the word flittering moving slowly and uh, moving swiftly and lightly brittle which was delicate and easily broken then clover a small plant with three rounded leaves on each stem elk a large deer docile very calm and easy to control then animatedly full of interest and excitement now from the next word next page from the next page the word is shaft shaft which means the word is shaft which means a beam of light the word is shaft is a beam of light then the next word is raiment here raiment is clothing okay raiment is clothing then cathedral so the word cathedral means a very large and important church okay then laden is don't write laden with keeping with that also known then, then the last is casket a small decorative box that is used to keep valuable things okay so shaft raiment cathedral and casket from this page and then in the last page see the words leisurely so the word leisurely is given which means in an unhurried manner the word leisurely is given which means and in an unhurried manner and then winding so the word winding which means curving or twisting curving or twisting so all the words what i told you that you have to write in your copy once again i am re repeating the words please don't those who have not marked mark it first page number 113 settlement unison hush and blazing 114 page number 114 there you have to write tardiness swabbed rouse outcry and from page number 116 you have to write fletchering brittel clover l do do side and these two more dropping and animated leaf fletchering brittel clover l do side dropping and animated leaf then page number 118 from 118 page you have to write shaft raiment cathedral and casket and from the last page here you have to write the words like leisurely and winding so these words you have to write in your copy as word meaning question answer i have given in the uh, group today but uh, in the next class i will discuss all these six one to six question so that you can write the answer in your own language as well and also syllabus i told you this is the syllabus of your english so somebody was asking me again and again this is the syllabus of english one and english okay so students thank you and have a nice day